Welcome to Office 2010 Video Project 35. Hey, we're talking about Excel. We're talking about data analysis. Now, what is data analysis? Data analysis is simply a term that means take some raw data, like these transactions, right? We can't see any patterns or notice any trends or make any decisions based off of these individual transactions. But data analysis means take this, organize it in some way so we can use it to make decisions. In this video, we want to look at sort and filter. In our next video, we will look at pivot table. Now, there's, we're not going to look at all of the data analysis features in this class, but we're going to look at the most important ones. All right, um, as we talked about in our last video, the data has to be set up properly. Field names at the tops, records in rows. Now, this is the sheet uh, we used for last video. I actually want to copy it over and retain this original data set. So if you want to practice, you can. I also will have some homeworks for this data analysis, analysis section. How do I copy a sheet? There's two ways. You can right click the sheet, remember our rule is right click the thing you want to do something, then there's probably something on the menu that uh, lets you do what you want. Move or copy. I'm going to click move or copy. Immediately if you're copying, you got to click this, copy right there. And then you have to say where in this workbook. You can actually send it to whatever workbook you want that's open. But here, before which sheet in this workbook. So I'm going to go but I want it after an analyzed data, so I'm going to say before homework 9. It puts a little 2 there because it had the same name. The other way to do it is much faster, but it's a little bit tricky. Once you get it, it's, it's easy. You hold Control, and then when your cursor is pointing to the sheet, you click and drag up. Now notice, right there in that little uh, picture, there is a piece of paper that, that's trying to simulate a sheet. Because I'm holding control and clicking on it, there's a plus. That means I'm copying the sheet. Notice also that there's a little black arrow right there. I'm going to wait till the black arrow is right there. You can kind of see it. And I'm going to let go of, con of the mouse, not control. I'm letting go of the mouse. I'm still holding control. So the toll trick was that was control click. And when you get it where you want, you let go of the click. All right, now I have to, I'm going to rename this, double click, and I'm going to call this sort, enter, double click this, call this filter. We already have a filter over here, that's sheets for the, the book. I'm going to say filter 2. I'm actually going to copy it over one more time. I'm going to click, I'm holding control, I click. I see that little sheet with the plus. That means I'm copying. I have the arrow where I want, and I'm going to let go of the mouse. All right, and I'm going to double click this one and call this PT for pivot table. Let's go back to sort. All right, sorting is pretty straightforward. We would like to see all of Luke's, all of Jerry's, all of Sheila Dawn's records together. Now, sorting, filtering, pivot tables, one of the main keys is before you click on the sort button, wherever it may be, we're going to use these buttons here, you got to have just one cell selected. If you have more than one cell, like this, it'll try to sort just this and not the rest of the data. That would be horrible. We would wreck our data set. So you click in a single cell. All right, so let's bring all the sales reps um, records together. Now, before we do this, I like to always prove to myself that Excel does really what it says, because supposedly when I sort, it will keep, like for instance, this record will be kept perfectly together. I'm going to add a color, just like yellow. And now, let's do our little trick. I'm going to click in the single cell and come up to Data, and I'm going to click A to Z, so the, the, the earlier letters will come to the top. All the chins are together. Look at that. You scroll down. If I go all the way down to the Stevens, I think it was Steven. There it is. So that record actually uh, stayed exactly together, but everything in this column was sorted. Now, think about that. That is a, an, a just an, an amazing thing. A single click, it's all sorted. So now, data analysis, you could look together, you look at all the chin sales. Uh, let's go ahead and try this again. Let's do not a column with text, but a column with 
numbers. Let's do z to a so we see the biggest ones on top. All right, ooh, Luke had the two biggest sales. Look at that, and then Rhonda, Stephen. All right, so, so you can sort either by a number or a letter. What about sorting more than one column? So for example, we'd like to see this column, all of the Wests together, but then when within West, I want to see all of Luke's, all of Rhonda's, etc. No problem. You just got to think this one through. If you want all of the Wests and then see all the sales reps sorted within that, would say actually you'd say sales rep sorted within region. Region would be called the major sort. Now there's two ways to do this. And the way I like to do it is I love the buttons cuz I can do it as many times as I want. Whatever the major sort is, you do that one last. All right, so I got this column. I'm going to click A to Z. And notice I'm going to um when we do the A to Z here, this is the major sort, we're doing it second. Watch just for a second. When I click this, it's actually you could see the whole table being highlighted and then it stops being highlighted. That highlighting is actually the same thing as control asterisks. Let's go ahead and do it. I'm going to do A to Z. Whoop. Okay, so now Midwest, you see all of the chins, and then there it is. Within Midwest, you see all the Jerry's. Very handy uh feature sort. Next thing we want to talk about is filter. I'm going to come over to this filter one right here. Now, filter, we have to turn it on. You can either turn it on here. There's a keyboard shortcut control shift L. I'm going to do that one. If you do filtering a lot, you know, you'd memorize that one other night. And the great thing is it's a toggle. You see these little uh, arrows at the top? They're going to be really cool. They do amazing things. Control shift L. In 2007 Excel, they vastly improved the filter. And one of the main uses that people uh, have for filter is they like to filter like they want to only see Luke's records, but then they want to copy and paste them somewhere else. Filter makes this absolutely easy. So let's see if we can do that. Now let's go back to this sort. We could sort, right, and get all of Luke's together and then highlight. But that means we have to kind of scroll down, find them, and very carefully highlight. We'll see that filter makes it a little bit easier than that to then take the records, copy, and paste them somewhere else. Now, I need a sheet, a new sheet here called Luke Sales. So what am I going to do? I need to um, insert a sheet. I want it to the left of this pivot table. Well, if you're not sure, what, what's our rule? Right click the thing, and maybe there's something on the menu. Right click, and there's an insert. You can insert a bunch of different objects. These ones are from Excel many, many years ago. Basically, people do not use those anymore, but you can insert a chart or a worksheet. All right, worksheet, I'm going to click worksheet. Notice it says sheet 12. I'm immediately going to rename it. Now, actually, I'm going to right click delete. And I want to show you there is a keyboard shortcut. Again, this is one of those uh, ones that, unless you're inserting sheets all the time, don't bother. It's Shift F11. All right, now I'm going to double click Shift F11 to insert that sheet. I'm going to call this Luke Sales. All right, now we're going to come back over here and watch this. We have our filter turned on. We just click the filter. And no way, we can filter however we want. I'm going to uncheck Select All and go Select Luke. Now, a couple things that tell you that this data set is filtered. First off, there's a little icon there. It shows Filter. Next, you can see that the um, row headers are blue. That tells you they're filtered. And also, you can see 2 to 14, there's a bunch of rows missing. All right, so if I scroll down, you see Filter actually hides. Actually, I should use this scroll over here. I'm going to control home. What I really should have done was clicked here and control down arrow to jump to the bottom. Right? So you can see all of Luke's record. I'm going to control home. Now watch this. This is what's so cool. Control asterisk to highlight the whole table. Control C to copy. And what's it doing? When you copy, no notice that the dance Normally, the dance and dance just go around the outside of our table. But because it's filtered, 
when we copy, it's actually copying just the visible cells. And that's what's so nice about the filter is it, it automatically is copying just those records. Now we come over here, click in A1 and Control V. Now I'm going to point to the smart tag down here and say uh, keep column widths. All right, I'm going to come back over here and how do I turn off the dancing ants? Escape. How do I turn off the filter? I can come, there's a couple ways. Clear, come up here, clear. All right, um, let's look at a couple other filters. We can, by the way, fil filter's great because when you turn it on, Control Shift L, it has the sort, right? So I can sort. I could also come down here and for each data type, there's a special filter. Notice here it's number filters. I'm going to click Escape. Come over here, text filters. That's a, a field with text. I clicked Escape. And oh, date filter. Let's go ahead and start with dates. Not only can we un, um, uncollapse with these little pluses, right? And then you can check, uncheck and check whichever one you want. I'm going to select them all again and uncollapse. So you have great latitude here, but here's what's just amazing about date filters. Before Excel 2007, doing um, extracting data for yesterday, uh, last week, uh, this month, last month, next quarter, doing this kind of data extract was really hard, and they just built it into the, the date filters. Now, this data set ha has records from the year 2000 and whatnot. But just be aware that if your boss asks you to do any filters where you have huge data set and it's like last week, please just go do filter and then control C uh, and paste. All right, let's do one. Let's do between. So I'm going to do one between. Notice it comes up as an and. That means it's got to be is after or equal to some date. And I'm going to uh, pick uh, 2006, so I'm going to say 1 slash 1 slash 2006. So this is is after or equal to, so it could be greater than this. And this one is before or equal, so it has to be less than or equal to any of these. So I'm going to put uh, 3 slash 1 slash 2006. All right, so this is a between criteria. The date's got to be greater than or equal to this, less than or equal to this. I'm going to click OK. And look at that. That is just amazing. I'm still amazed. I remember having to build formulas to do that kind of stuff. And uh, filter just makes it so amazing. Look, there's all of the dates. All right, control asterisk, control C. And we could come over here, and I'm just going to paste it right here, control V. Now, sometimes, not all the time, people uh, take and extract their data like this. I'm going to point to that smart tag, say, keep column widths. Sometimes they just look at it here. All right, uh, one uh, last uh, filter. Let's go and clear this. I'm going to use this one, boop, clear. And then you can select just a customer, right? So instead of uh, um, all of them, I want to see just Amazon. And then I can look through that and see what it is, what product it is that Amazon's buying most of the time. I'm going to clear. Over to our number filters. We definitely got to check these out. Um, one that came in in 2007 above average. Now this is amazing. You know, again, we used to have to do this with formulas and what, but now I click above average and it's just every single sale. It calculates the average behind the scenes for this and these are all the numbers above average. I'm going to click a uh, clear. One other a number, a great one. We can say top 10 our top 10 sales or whatever. I'm going to say my top uh, 15 and click OK. And there they are, just like that. Now I'd actually like to show you uh, two more things, one each, one about filter, one about sort, and it has to do with color. Now I'm going to turn these filters off. I'm just going to Control Shift L because not only is it a toggle, Control Shift L, but it'll also um, you know, unfilter the data set. I'm going to come back over here sometimes people color code. So let's say there was three sale or five, four sales 
and maybe they're way down at the bottom, but they color code them in a particular way. And this is actually quite column, e co common, even though it may be inefficient for data analysis. But again, um, Excel 2007 and later, they added a sort and filter by color. And one of the reasons they added it was because so many people did it. So now, we use the data ribbon for sorting, and you can actually come up to the sort dialog box, which we didn't look at. But the sort dialog box, um, you select your region. I'm going to select uh, cost of goods sold. Uh, we're going to select on either value, cell color, font color. We're going to say cell color. And then we're going to select this. Notice once we selected cell color, we got this. Now that's one way to do it. Um, I'm going to click Escape. And notice you can say on top or on the bottom. But I'm going to click Escape. Another way to sort is that you can right click. Now, you, as long as you got your column, you can right click, sort. Again, this is new also. And it says, um, I, I clicked in the wrong cell right there. Right click, sort. And it says, put cell color on top. And just like that, it brings it to the top. Filter also has this ability. Let's do it on words. Let's do one way down here. So I have some uh, yellow. I'm going to put some yellow. And I'm going to put a little red, too. Whoops, it's all red. Oh, let's put red. Control Home. And now I'm going to Control Shift L. And now I'm going to go down to uh, filter, right? Oh, there it is. F oh, filter by color. And it gives you a choice. I'm going to say red. And there it is. There's the two records that we had big trouble with um, that were marked red. All right, uh, one last filter trick here. We want to go to the sheet filter search. Oh, 2010 filter. They added a search ability. I'm going to control shift L. And look at this. You click the drop down, and there's a search. Now I'm going to click Escape. I just want to filter and find all the LLPs. I need to extract that data. So I go here, type LLP, and no way. Look at that. It shows me all of them. There's a bunch of transactions for those LLPs. Select all search results. I'm going to click OK. And just like that, that is just amazing. Then you can copy and paste or do whatever you want. All right, uh, so we saw filter, a uh, bunch of filter and sort tricks. Again, data set, if you want to get it back unfiltered, I'm going to control shift L. Data set has to have field names at the tops, records and rows, but with sort and filter, just amazing what you can do. Your boss comes in and says, I need this data set. You're like, no problem, right away. In our next video, we'll see pivot tables, yet another data analysis feature inside of Excel. In fact, the most powerful data analysis feature. All right, see you next video.